get out the way and let that fine ass nigga right there like come towards me please to cuff me wipe me up and stuff you know <laughs> i know it's been a while since i've done my um last makeup video that was like my very first video in february in december <laughs> very february again but you know i'm back i'm in the mood to do my makeup i don't know no i do know what i'm doing i'm trying to recreate this look that i've seen on google and we're gonna see how it goes and i'm also here to talk y'all about where i've been i just uploaded a video yesterday from september i've been slacking i know and I'm going to tell y'all why. So, you know, just get, get into the video. Get into the, the mood. Get into girls. Yes. Okay. So, I'm also doing my makeup. And I'm really bored. So, I'm watching Charm School as well. But, first, I'm going to prime my face with the Max Fix Plus. This is the matte version. I need to weigh my beauty blender. Like, I hate when I sit down and I start my makeup and everything. And I haven't weighed my beauty blender like I did. Y'all, look at my puff. It has gotten so much bigger. It's puffed out right now. It was in a silk press for Christmas, and today's like the 27th or the 28th, and it's already gone. It's already gone. I haven't washed my hair yet. Like, that is sad. But let's get into the video. First question, big question. Where I been? I been in college. And if you don't know what you should know, because it's all on my page, I attend Prairie View a and University. <laughs> that part. So basically, since my first semester, you know, I've basically just been adjusting to how the school works, how to like, you know, focus and everything. Y'all, let me find my eyebrow stuff and I'll tell y'all. I mean, hold on. I did the early college program when I was in high school. However, that did not prepare me for college. Cause you know, <laughs> every time I turn around, a new professor got a new assignment. And then sometimes all five of them wanna uh, have an assignment at the same time, which is normal. However, it was like, pew, 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 goddamn. You know, like that. But it's okay. It's okay. Because, baby, your girl sufficed. I think that's the right word. I'm not really sure. That's what I'm college for. We're learning. So, since I'm talking about my first semester of college, I might as well go, you know, in depth. For my first semester of college, you know, if I could describe it in one word, I would say different. Because, you know, it really, did it teach me a lot? Y'all hold on, cause baby, you girl struggling to do this. I'm gonna do this off camera cause I feel like this is ugly. I feel like this is ugly and I'm gonna go ahead and stop before I waste any footage and make a fool of myself on camera. So I'm gonna be back with some brows, y'all. <clears throat> y'all don't even know how long it just took me to do them brows. Like it took me so freaking long. And then, I forgot my palace at the house. I'm on my grandma's house right now. My baby. And I had to go all the way back to um, my house. And you know, I told y'all, my, my, my mama live in Duckerville. This in a video that I was just posted yesterday. My trip back to Dallas. Y'all can go watch that. But like I was saying, my mama live in Duncanville. My mama live in DeSoto. That's like 15 minutes away. So that's 30 minutes all together. I still had to go inside the house. So get my stuff like, ugh, doing too much. Okay, yeah. So finally, after doing my brows, and I still don't even like them now like that but it's okay because they'll too ew that one looks horrible on camera this one don't look too bad it looks actually pretty clean but this one is horrible however i've already spent the time well three times doing it. i'm not doing it again i'm not so what we finna do is move on to the eyes my first semester college first let's talk about grades no we're gonna talk about adjusting so um when i first got there i mean it wasn't you know much different I wouldn't get much assignments. I was like, you know, this is going to be a breeze. I was like, college is hard to wear. Girl, it started kicking my behind sooner or later. But, like, the first two weeks, we were just talking about, like, you know, the syllabus and stuff. Deciding if I need the textbooks or not. And I ended up having to buy every single textbook for every class. Even though, for one class, I didn't need it. The professor was the author. And we only used it for one chapter and I didn't even need to read the book to pass class a waste of my money baby don't be fooled y'all don't be fooled so yeah like I was saying then soon uh yeah so then soon after that you know that uh oh shoot girl can you talk 
But yeah, soon after that, you know, they actually start uh, giving out assignments, which weren't too hard. I didn't really struggle that much with any classes, kind of. The only class I really struggled with was um, my macroeconomics class. I mean, it was pretty cool. I don't really have I don't really have good study, study habits because I get bored like really easily. I'm sorry, I don't look it down. Like uh, <clears throat> I get bored like really easy. So whenever I would attempt to study, it would always go left because I would get bored too fast, and I would just be like, okay, what are we doing next? What mm -mm, can't do it. But look, when I really need to get stuff done, I would go in the TV room because I live in the UC, which is like basically the freshman housing, and in the UC they have TV rooms on. A TV slash study room on every floor. So when I really didn't get stuff done, I would take all my textbooks, my laptop, charge everything I would need, snack stuff to the uh, TV room, and I would just zone out and get, to, get my stuff done. Cause baby, we ain't got time to plan. So yeah, um, adjusting it really wasn't bad. I just needed to get a hold of my priorities and my needs, which brings to my next topic: jail. I felt like I was in jail most of the time. Cause maybe because I live in the UC which probably was, but also because I didn't have a car. So, let me tell y'all why I felt like I was in jail. I felt like I was in jail because one, I didn't have a car. So, I wasn't able to go anywhere when I wanted to, which is very different for me, because I've been driving since I was like 15, so whenever I want to go somewhere, I get up and go. I mean, I still had to ask and stuff, but like, you know, eventually, like, freedom. I just got up and went. At PV, I can't do that, which really bothered me. However, it was okay, it's okay. I managed to make it work and did. I also feel like I was in jail because we had visitation hours and they got modified for our year. I don't know if it's for the whole year or for the semester. The visitation hours used to be like until two. They moved them up to, a, no, it was up to one or two. They moved it up to 11. We can't. And then we constantly kept getting our visitation taken, like six. But I didn't have nobody coming over anyway, so I really didn't care because I don't have no friends. But um, <clears throat> moving to my next point, social life. I don't have one. So, um, in the beginning during Panther Camp, I did meet a couple girls that um, I was friends with. I'm still cool with like, I mean, I'm still cool with all of them. However, I'm not as close as I am to those three because it was five of us. Not as close to three of them as I am with that one, which is my bitch Jalen. Hey, Jalen, I definitely gonna watch this. But anyway, me and Jalen, we hung out most of the time. We really didn't have much to do because, you know, we are on a college budget. And I don't know why, because I'm very spoiled. So my grandmother and my mother decided to put me on a budget once I got to college, which really sucked. But it's teaching me, you know, to value money. However, I'm still, it's not working because it's, I be starving. I do. Because I don't like eating the food at the MSC. I really don't. It reminds me of jail. So I don't like eating it. Cause it don't be good except for fish, the fish on Fridays. And then I think they got some roast beef slash pot roast that I really do enjoy. I think it's pot roast. I don't, are those the same thing? I think they are, I don't know. I don't go to AMC. So then I end up spending my money on like food and extra stuff that I really don't need. <clears throat> but in my head, I do need it because I'm not finna start really be going on little adventures like me and uh, Jalen. And we'd really just be leaving the dorm and then we'll figure out something new. We'll figure out something new. We don't have something to do. We'll figure it out. If not, we'll just go back to our room. Which I don't like because I, I hate being bored. I don't even know if I stayed on topic, but if I didn't, if you have any questions, did you know, just comment down below, you know, subscribe, you know, like, share. Because I want to hear y'all questions. I want to uh, talk to y'all, you know. I've been talking to some of y'all. Not really, but you know, like, y'all been leaving comments. I appreciate y'all. Hey, boots. You know, I love y'all. <laughs> we'll find something to do if we don't have nothing to do. But you know, it's really hard. Because the PV, there's nothing to do, really. There is nothing to do in Prairie View. Prairie View about this big. To get to the nearest good Walmart, it takes you 15, 20 minutes. You gotta go down the highway, down 290, to get there in Cypress, which is like a couple X's down. I don't know exactly how many X's, but I know it's like a couple X's down, which is like ridiculous. Cause my friend, she go to Commerce. She has a uh, Walmart that's walking distance, baby. Walking distance. Do you know how lovely that would be? To have a Walmart that's walking distance away from you? Yeah, I was talking about food. Let me talk about school later. Food. Like I told y'all, I be starving. I do not like that MSC food, I don't. And the only place that we have to eat on campus is Chick-fil-A, the MSC cafeteria, 
we have the zone. However, it's just out my way. It's really not. Because, like, the UC is, like, right here in the back, kind of. And the zone is this way. And then the MSC is this way. So, it's really... I could go either way. But I choose to go to MSC. Because just more familiar, closer. They got more options, I believe. Do I like my school? I actually do like my school. I really do. I just don't like the people. If you go to PV, or if you're wanting to go to PV, they stare a lot. It's every fucking body. They stare so much. But yes, I do like my school. However, the financial aid is slow. You'll be in that line forever. Okay, the campus. One thing I really like about the campus is that it's really small. I mean, it's not really small, but it's smaller than what it could be. Because some of these schools, they got some really big campuses. And I really appreciate that PV is not that bad because I tend to wake up very late. I had 8 a.m. every single day. It's not Friday. Friday I didn't have class. Well, I did have class, but he always canceled it. And I like to wake up the latest at 7.50. But it takes like five minutes, six minutes to get to my class. Because most of my classes were in the business building because I'm in most of my major classes. So... I'm going straight to the business because if you didn't know, my major is marketing. So, so, I'm glad because it didn't take that long to get to class. Even though I still was late, obviously. Y'all, this outlook is turning out so bad. I promise you. And it's making me upset. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it all in here. This is going to be my transition color. I'm going to put a pop that burgundy in this crease. And we're going to keep pushing it. So then next, I want to talk to y'all about my business. It's not up and running yet. However, this week, I want to go get the DBA. I'm not really sure what the DBA stands for. Or however, I think it's like to trademark the name or copyright the name. Or I don't know. It's something with the name. I know that for a fact. What I want to do for my profession, I want to start my own cosmetic line. At first, I was trying to make my own products. However, that did not work out. Because I realized I was not getting the goal. I wasn't getting the product that I wanted. I just said, forget it. I'm just going to give me a vendor. However, they have private label and stuff. Where you can just buy the products and put your name on it. But that's not what I'm Let me tell you. Baby, it gets hot at PV. And what's the name? In the beginning of the year, during like the still summer, fall time, y'all, it used to get so freaking hot. Like I would take a shower and then go outside and I would just feel so sweaty and sticky again. And then during the winter, one week, that Monday, it said, the winter came out of nowhere, baby. It was like getting a little chilly, but no, it said, it was cold as hell. I know y'all just all like, girl, she all over the place. I am. I already know. I tried to set this out, but it's just not working. What's the name? I put wearing makeup so much. Like, I used to do makeup. Not a lot, but often. At PV, I literally just cut off makeup. At first, I would want to do makeup, but then I'd be like, dang, because, you know, you know, it's like really hot. Then, I'd be like, what's the point of doing makeup if anyone going to see me? Or, I'm going to sweat it off. So that brings me to my next point. You know, y'all, I got a job. It's at Hooters. And you know, I am a little thicker. Thicker than a snicker, you know? Yes, ma'am. So I did not even apply for Hooters, girl, because I know that you have to try on a uniform. And what I was not gonna do is embarrass myself, okay? I don't wanna get like, you know, I don't wanna hurt my own feelings, so I just said, forget it. I ain't gonna do it. But I am a host. I haven't even started working yet. Haven't even got a damn orientation. I go in there for my, what's it called? My orientation. Put them and tell me, oh, I'm sorry, we ain't got your information. Got me a new car. At first, I was rocking a, what I rocking? Oh, I had a 2011 white Ford Fusion. Now, I have a 2017 Nissan Altima. And it's so pretty. I'm gonna try to insert the picture right here. Um, she is so cute, and I fell in love with her, but my Mimi wanted me to have a Sentra. 
But I really just not, did not like central because I my, I have a big thing on space. I cannot feel cramped up. And in that center, I felt cramped up. I just didn't enjoy it. The ultimate has way more room. But she thought it was a family car. This outlook is atrocious. It looks so... No. I'm pretty sure it don't. I ain't even going to lie to myself. I ain't going to play myself like that. I really don't have a filming setup. Um, me and my roommate. I guess we're talking about that. Y'all, me and my roommate, we didn't talk like that. Like, we didn't have no beef against each other. We were just way... We had two different personalities. Like, see, here's the thing. When nobody wants to talk to me, or when I'm in a uh, mood to talk, I can talk about anything, and I can talk for hours. And I have multiple people to attest to that. But when you put me on the spot, I just don't know what to talk about, you know? Ooh, I can talk about boys at PV. They all ain't shit. Sum it up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm really just kidding. <laughs> no, but for real. The boys that I have personally encountered, um, they either wanted to, you know, cuff or you already know. I was technically single, but I wasn't exactly single. Cause when I came to college, I was single. However, I wasn't fully single. Cause I was still talking to my ex and we had recently just broke up out of like a basically a two year, damn near two year relationship. I was like, forget these other dudes. Like, you know, I still got my baby. Until we got in a bad argument, broke up me like that. Once, you know, I finally got myself together because obviously, you know, I was a little sad. Even though we'd already broke up, but that was, you know, we were still going on dates and stuff like during the summer. So I was like, he said, my man. In my head. Uh, when I finally got up out of that, I realized, you know, I am a bad bizzle. And I can get it like that. Not get it, but you know, like, get him a dude like that. Thank you. I be cocky enough. I'm just very confident. Because I'm very confident because, like, as a child, I wasn't the most confident. I was lame. My hair always wasn't done the best. Now, my mama's fault. Because my mama had my hair done. She done my hair. But she started letting me do my own her hair. And, girl, I was a mess. I was fat. I had glasses. And I wasn't, you know, the most attractive little girl. And I was lame as hell. So, y'all, now, I done lost me some weight. Baby, I know how to do makeup. My hair grow. I know how to snatch a wig. Not snatch a wig. Slay a wig. Thank you. And I just feel like, you know, not invincible. But, you know, I just feel like way better than what I once did. Because I know I'm a bad business girl. I am. I promise you, college is really something different. Like, every day, it's something different. You never know the next thing you're going to do. Most time. Like all the dudes that I don't want is the ones that want to cuff me. Like, sir. Like, sir, could you get out the way and let that fine ass nigga right there like come towards me, please? To cuff me, wipe me up. I'm really enjoying this break though. Because y'all, I, I really need this. I really did. In the beginning of college, I was able to take a nap in between my classes and after my classes. I had my daily nap. After the first two weeks, the nap was gone because there was stuff to do. Okay, yeah. I don't get rid of me, husband. All other plays, but if you're watching till now, I appreciate you. I love you. Look, kiss from Coco. Hey, Coco's kisses. Ah! That is so cute, Coco's kisses. I don't know what I would have named that, but you know that is a good name. I should get a trademark for one of y'all. I try to be more consistent next semester. But y'all, I told y'all, I have side A, and the way that the UC is set up, it's like there's side A, which you walk straight in, and then on my side, it has the mirror, which is also the closet door. It has my TV, the dresser, and there's a wall. On the other side, she has the window, and hers is set up just in a different way. Here, I sh I'm gonna try to get some videos out to y'all. I mean, what else am I doing? I put out the other vlog. The one I just recorded yesterday. Y'all can go watch that. And y'all can really go watch my other vlogs. And, you know, just, hey, show girls some love. Please. Girl, got this coin. I'm just kidding. I'm not doing this for the coin. I'm doing this because I just like to talk. You know, a little entertain. I can't choreograph. And I can't sing. However, I love singing. But I can't sing. I already know. I'm going to be honest with myself. Yeah. 
This is my favorite lip gloss. I haven't actually used the red one. I've only been using the pink one. But I love both of my pink ones at home. Because one thing I hate leaving the house with out is lip gloss. Because I don't want to be a dry, ashy lip hoe out here. Y'all better be lucky. I love y'all. Because it's cold outside. I know you see my bra. But here's my little outfit. Got this white top. It's actually a crop top, but you know you can't see it. I, I really should wear a different bra, but it's okay. I got this gold necklace, my hoop stone. This puff really don't match this outfit. I feel like I'm missing something. You know what I'm saying? I got this little gold ring. Come and take your nigga, period. But this is my outfit. Oop. Period. Period. Okay. Period. We got this the bottom half of the outfit. Okay, show my toes. But you know, we got the. Hold on, let me show y'all. We got the, the Tommy's on, you know. The heel figures, you know. God dang, struggling to put the shoe on. Here is the full fit. And I will talk to you guys later, you know. Like, comment, share, subscribe, you know. The girl out here doing big things. We're trying to at least. So, you know, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all. Bitch, I'm the new CNN. Yeah. Really, then.